In this video, I'm going to show you what I believe to be the best blitz right now, the most consistent DB Fire 2 style of pressure in Madden. I actually think this defense is super, super slept on and wanted to draw some attention to it today. Now, if you want to get my entire defensive ebook on the Dollar 3 2 mug, it's going to be linked in the description by joining my Patreon. We've got a little 30-minute uh, video breaking this defense down in extreme detail. And we're going to be dropping a brand new ebook in the Patreon uh, at the beginning of next week. So make sure that you're in the Patreon. That way you get access to all of our ebooks and all our updates as soon as they come out. The link is in the description. All right, guys, this is the best blitz in Madden, in my opinion, uh, from a perspective of simplicity and effectiveness. So uh, what we're going to do here is we're just going to come out. I'm in the U-Trips formation, but I'll show you it against some other ones. We're just going to come out in DB Fire 2. And we're not going to base align it. We're going to run it as it is. And what you're going to notice is the alignment in this formation is actually really unique. You have not only do you have the, uh, the linebackers in the gaps, which is really good for maximum coverage defenses this year, but you also have these wide angles that these guys are on. So all I have to do is just press the slot and then we're gonna pinch our D line. And what it does is it creates this perfect blitz angle on both sides. And then you're just gonna stand in the in the like A gap over the center, just like this. And what you'll see is we're gonna get incredible pressure off of the edge. Double edge pressure sending five. Now the beauty of this defense is there's a lot of versatility in terms of the coverage that you can actually create as well. And another thing is if I drop that D line out, a lot of times you're still gonna get the double edge pressure. So they have to block the running back to be able to pick up this blitz. Um, and then what you're gonna notice here is if I block my running back, a lot of times it's still gonna come in off of the opposite side. And again, it's because of the alignment this formation uh, produces is actually slightly better than the actual dollar defense in general. Now, another thing that we can do with this actually super unique is we can go ahead and show blitz. And when we show blitz, you're gonna notice that we can still back these guys off. We can still pinch the line. And the reason I like to show blitz is because what does it do? It brings the safeties down into the box and you're gonna see we're still getting that incredible pressure off of, uh, off of the edge. So I'm gonna show this to you against a couple other formations real quick, just to kind of show you how it works against some of the more meta formations that we're seeing, uh, which is bunch, of course, and then I'll talk about tight in just a second. This is actually, a, the tight was really the main reason I found this defense. Uh, but again, just show blitz. And now you see that this guy is gonna be stacked on the edge. When they're stacked on the edge, like there are a couple things that we can do, but I'll just show you the standard five-man blitz. And what you're going to notice here is it actually that still comes in off the opposite side, but it's not as good on the right side. So all we have to do is we're going to kind of create a loop concept. So we're going to show blitz, pinch our line, we're going to QB contain, and then we're going to manually re-blitz this left side linebacker. And what you'll notice is a lot of times it's going to create that loop concept on the right and that edge rush concept on the left side. Another thing that you could do if you wanted to is you could pinch your line, you could crash your line down and, and run it kind of like this as well. And you see how we're getting that kind of loopy disengage uh, over on the right side. So a lot of different uh, options and versatility within this defense, in my opinion. I think this defense is super, super loaded, uh, and I think it's actually going to be a lot better the more people start to realize there's some actual really cool things you can do with the alignment that makes it super powerful. Now, another uh, formation that you're going to face, and this is just the blitz. We'll talk a little bit more. This is just kind of the starter piece of this blitz, actually. There's a lot more in the Patreon that we discuss. Um, but the thing that I want to show you here is how this works against compression. So against compression, it's kind of honestly the same uh, as bunch. So when we show blitz here, you're going to notice that this guy kind of backs off of this edge. And if we QB contain, now what are we in? We're in the loop blitz. We're in the basically the same uh, kind of loop concept that is so powerful. And now you're getting edge and loop pressure uh, at the quarterback. So there's a lot of versatility in the defense. Another thing again about tight is when you pinch your D-line, Let's say you show blitz, you pinch your D line. Just go ahead and press that that slot corner um, by pressing that slot receiver manually. And what you can get with this is you're going to get this double edge loop pressure that is almost impossible to block against tight. Really hard to pick this pressure up because the running back can only really block one of these blitzers. And the beauty of that is if the running back can only block one of them, 
typically the other side is going to come in, as you see right here. So really, really good little blitz defense here. This send five out of uh, the dollar three two mug. I'd really encourage you to try this defense out. I think there's so much versatility. We haven't even gotten into like manually uh, sliding our linebackers one way or the other. The ability to back off the outside edges. Um, there's so many things that you can do with this defense, guys. But I would really encourage you to check out the Patreon. You're going to get access to everything by being a Patreon member. Ten dollars gets you access to all e books and all updates as soon as they are available. Thanks for watching. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description and click the link down below.